Now we'll take a look at how Bayer have developed this technology over the last seven years. We started to use this technology on Septoria back in 2014. So firstly, how does it work? In its simplest form, we are able to select a leaf from a plant, pass it through a qPCR reaction, which ultimately tells us the quantity of Septoria DNA within that leaf. In 2016, we started to use this technology in trials to identify whether fungicides were being applied in a protectant or curative situation. Over the following two years, in 2017 and 2018, we expanded our trials and developed the technology into a research tool. One example of what we did was to compare the quantity of septori DNA in visually clean leaf twos at the T2 timing in three different varieties with a range of septoria resistance ratings, from Trinity with a rating of 5.5 to Revelation at 6.0 up to KWS Siskin with a rating of 6.6. These results showed us that there was little to no disease present in the two stronger varieties, Revelation and Siskin, whereas Trinity did have Septoria present. This means that the fungicides would have been under greater pressure on the Trinity compared to the other two varieties. We then tested Leaf 2 again, 10 days later on the same varieties to reflect delayed T2 application timing. These results show that the disease levels had escalated on the Leaf 2 in all varieties in this short time but much less so in the more resistant KW Siskin. This highlights the value of genetics in supporting the chemistry. Whilst our research was very interesting, we were always being asked, when would we be able to conduct fast turnaround results, making them more relevant to in-season fungicide decisions? Therefore, in 2019, we started exploring this possibility and proved that it was possible to speed up the laboratory process from several weeks and months to a matter of days, including postage. During the 2020 cropping season, we expanded our trials even further to optimise the test and data interpretation in order to develop a tool to inform fungicide decisions. 